Welcome back guys, hope you're all well and today we're doing something slightly different. Today we are kicking off the Pakistan Tour of England 2019 series. Now this will be the final series for both England and Pakistan before the World Cup which starts in just under a month's time. It's 1T20, 5 ODI. So I've got everything set up here. Without any further delays, let's get straight into this. So welcome everyone to Sophia Gardens in Cardiff. This is where the first T20 is taking place. It's England versus Pakistan. It's the first match of the tour. England, we're going in with James Vince, Bairstow, Root, Morgan, Denley, Stokes, Chris Jordan, David Willey, Tom Curran, Liam Plunkett and Adil Rashid. I'm not sure about the lineups. I've uh, updated the squads a little bit, tried to get all the current players in there. But uh, yeah, let me know what the lineups look like if you guys think they are fairly accurate or not. We can always change them later on. Right, let's join the two captains, Owen Morgan and Sarfaraz Ahmed. Pakistan have called, England have won the toss. I think we will... I think we're going to bat. Let's set a target. Pakistan do have difficulties in chasing. I mean, they are a fantastic T20 team, but uh, I think I'll be more comfortable with having a target on the board. Right, here we go. Come on, boys. James, Vince and Johnny Bairstow making their way to the wicket. Five matches, average of 32, highest score of 46 for Vince. Looking forward to this one. Right, Hassan Ali to open the bowling for Pakistan. Here we go. Two men out on the boundary, square leg and deep point. First ball of the over, off the mark, quick little single, throw comes in, we make it home. bairstow has gone big over point. Is that going to go all the way? One bounce, couple of bounces into the boundary. First boundary of the match, Johnny Besto. England are five without loss. Two balls left in the over, six without loss. Right, where are my areas? If he bowls a full, we got to go for it. Oh no, not timed it at all. Went for the straight shot. That's the first wicket. That's the first wicket. James Vince gone, caught Barbara Zahn, bowled Hassan Ali, gone for one run. Not a great start. Joe Root coming in earlier than he wanted, I'm sure. Just going to flick that down to the square leg fielder and get another run. So seven for one off the first over. Right, the youngster Shaheen Afridi coming in. The left armour, best on strike. Uh, let that one go by. That's time nicely. Not going to go all the way, going to come back for the second. The throw is good. This is going to be tight. We make it home. Need to get a move on. If we're going to have a, any chance of putting a big score on the board, we need to get a move on. Right, last ball of the over coming up. Place that into the cover region. Not going to come back for the second. So that's the end of the second over. England are 13 for the loss of one wicket. Right, two dot balls already in this over. We need a big boundary from somewhere. Let's try to go over the cover region. I think he's cleared the man. That's going to run away for four. Good shot. So, finally, we picked up a boundary in this over. Need to get a move on. We're not going to, you know, I think we're projected to make 130 with the current run rate. So, we need to get a move on. Oh, he's gone big again. He hasn't got a hold of this. Fielder comes underneath it. Will this be the second wicket? Yes, it is. England are in trouble now. Johnny Besto. Caught Muhammad Hafiz, bowled by Hassan Ali, gone for 12. He's trying to go big in this over, trying to accelerate the innings, and it hasn't worked. England lose their second wicket. That's placed nicely. Will it run away for four? He's gone through the mid-wicket area, coming back for the third. I think the fielder will pull this one back in just in time. Yes, he does. So, three runs off that delivery. England move on to 20 for two. Morgan on strike, last ball coming up. It's not been a good start at all. We need to uh, we need to really make a comeback here. Take a single there. End of the over, 21 for two. Bowling change from Pakistan. Imad Wasim coming in now. Beaten square leg. Don't think he's going to run away. Haven't timed it too well, to be honest. So just pick up a couple here. Now I'm thinking, what do we do? Do we just sort of now play a steady innings? We have lost two early wickets, so that's obviously going to hamper us. Um, no, get back, get back. Or do we still try to, you know, play our big shots? Because 
All we need are two or three big overs and, uh, you know, we're ahead of the game, we're ahead of the run rate. But at the moment, with the loss of two wickets, don't really want to be losing any more. So I think might have to go for a bit of a patient game as we've played this into the cover region. There's no one there. That might go all the way, will it? That's four runs, six runs off the over, so good start so far. There are plenty of gaps, so I guess there's no need to go crazy here at the moment. Oh, that's a nice shot time really well. That's going to run away for another four down towards fine leg. Two back-to-back -back boundaries for England. And again, lovely placement. That's another boundary. So 14 runs coming off this over. Much better for England. Nice cut shot. Oh, there's a man there. This is going to be tight. Ooh, direct hit and we were gone. I was so confident I'd beaten that man that we set off without even looking so a lucky escape for England oh as I said that Morgan's gone taken by Sarfaraz Ahmed bold Hassan Ali 16 runs Owen Morgan's out this is not the start that England had wanted but it's definitely the start Pakistan were looking for Joe Denley the new man in England are in all sorts of trouble 38 for 3 Plays it through mid-wicket, first delivery, he's off the mark, that's going to be four runs. What a way to arrive at the crease, Joe Denley. It's a game of singles and doubles, not the game I want to play, but the game I'm being forced to play due to the loss of those three early wickets. No, get back, get back. Oh, we've lost it, we've lost it. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Run out by Imanul Haq, Joe Root goes for nine. This is terrible. That was just not needed at all. Stupid running on my part. Absolute nonsense. Lovely shot. That's going to go for four runs. 48 for four. The crowd are up now. This is not good. England are in serious bother here. Serious bother. Not timed well enough. Probably come back for a second. It's going to be a risky one. Should make it home comfortably, and we do. So 50 for 4 at the end of the 6th over. I think the strategy here has to be now holding these wickets, keeping these wickets in hand. Uh, it's not... The run rate is nowhere near where it should be. But I guess we're just going to have to hold on to our wickets and then see if we can, uh, if we can launch it near the end but if you play good shots like that you'll get the odd boundary here and there and just keep uh, keep building the innings a lot slower than we want to but unfortunately that's the situation we find ourselves in seven off the over so far last ball coming up don't need to do anything silly that's through the gap hopefully that'll run away for a boundary yes four runs needed that needed that boundary Right, Mohammad Amir, the man who has not been chosen for the World Cup squad, comes in. First ball, only one run off it. So Amir is obviously trying to... Well, I guess he needs to, right? He needs to perform well in England in this coming series to have any chance of making the World Cup. There's a lot of debate about whether he should or shouldn't be in the World Cup squad. Didn't get a hold of that one at all, but we'll... Nope, missed out on the single as well. I think... Look, he's a great bowler. He's had his issues. He hasn't played, you know, too well in terms of wickets anyway since the Champions Trophy final. There's a case that people say, you know, a, a player of armor stature should always go to these big tournaments because he's got the ability to, you know, that was a close run. He's got the ability to be a match winner on any, any given day. And I agree with that. But I think the teams, you know, the current World Cup team for Pakistan has probably been chosen more on current form. And on the basis of that, he um, he doesn't get into it. Going to come back for a quick second here. But there's still time. If he performs well, then he could break his way into the World Cup team. And I think it'll be good for cricket. It'll be good for Pakistan if he can. You know, if you can have a fit and firing Mohammad Amir. But right, two balls to go. Completely played and missed that one. So halfway through, ten overs gone. England at 76 for four. The loss of those early three or four wickets has obviously cost us. We can't go as big as we want to now. Again, I am tempted to take on Mohammed Amr. 
And I have taken him. That's beaten the infield. That's going to run away. A couple of bounces, four runs. Now they've put a man back on the boundary. So that shot is no longer on. Oh, it's a top edge. That's going to run away for four as well. Didn't get a hold of it at all. We needed some luck. It's come our way. First a drop catch in the last over. And this time, what a rubbish shot. But we get four runs for it. Didn't get a hold of it at all. Went on the back foot. Played it late. And oh, it just goes flying over the slip cordon. And that's going to run away for four runs. Much better placement. There's a man coming around on the boundary. We're going to come back for the second. This is going to be tight. Should make it home. And we do. Wow. 11 off the over so far. Right. Last ball coming up. So much better over. Still just need to hold on. Oh, this is going to be tight. Oh, direct hit. We just made it. 12 runs coming off the over. So England now move on to 88 for four. Right, Shaheen Afridi coming back in for another spell. Oh, that's a big shot. That's in the air. Has it cleared the man? Six rounds, 103 meters six. What a shot. I did not think I connected as well as I did. 51 runs off 39 balls. So these two have built up a nice partnership. Shaheen Afridi coming in back for the first ball of his new spell. Pitches it in short. We connected with it beautifully. Goes flying over the cover region. And that's gone way, way, way back into the stands for six runs. That's going to run away. That's just luck. That's pure luck. Completely played it wrong. It was a short ball. Played on the front foot. Got an edge. Went through the slips because there weren't any slips there. And we get four runs. But we're not complaining. 12 runs off the over so far. That's timed well. Man will come round. Not going to go for the second. So that takes us on to 13 runs off the over. England move on to 102 for four now. Still got six wickets in hand. Afridi coming in for the last ball of his over. None for 19. There you get another single. So much better over from England. 103 for four. Oh, tried to go big. We've beaten the point fielder. And that's going to run away for four as well. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear. Joe Denley goes for 30. Caught Mohammed Hafiz. Bold armor. 30 of 28 deliveries. Three boundaries. Went on the back foot to pull that one. Didn't get a hold of it. And it just looped up into the air. England have lost their fifth wicket. Come back for the two here. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Make it home. Oh, it's a no ball and it's a free hit. Do not mess this up. Oh, I wish Ben Stokes was on strike for this one. Right, do not mess this up. Wherever it is, we're going for it. Gone over mid-wicket. There's a man coming round. And it's six runs. Yes, come on. Come on, England. Let's do this. Come on. Gone over mid-wicket. Haven't got hold of it at all. There's a man underneath it. Sixth wicket for England goes down. Chris Jordan. Caught by Ali. Bowled by Afridi. Gone for 13 of seven deliveries. It's now coming to that time in the match where I guess we just have to start attacking. We are going to lose wickets. We're not in a great position at all. Thought I timed it. Clearly not. Just floats up in the air. Square leg comes around. Takes a simple enough catch. So, David Willey, the new man in, left-hander. Average of 10.71. Doesn't give me a lot of confidence. I'm pretty sure he got an edge on that. We'll, we're lucky. We get four runs. Only place we can go is leg side. And that's where we've gone. Had to go for it. I think that's going to go all the way. No, a couple of bounces, four runs. Oh, Ben Stokes has gone off to armor. That's a big one. There's a man on the boundary. Has it cleared him? Six runs. First ball goes for 105 meters six. That's more like it. 
54 for Stokes of 31 deliveries, six fours, two sixes. Come on, Ben Stokes. Oh, he hasn't got a hold of it. He's out. Shit. Ben Stokes goes for 54. Court Muhammad Hafiz, bowled Muhammad Amir. It's the last few hours of the innings, so I was just trying to launch at everything now. Right, Tom Curran, the new man in. Gets off the mark, one run. Imad Vasim is back in. I think we're just going to have to go for everything now. Going to make some space for the leg side if I can. <laughs> oh, God. David Willey, bowled by Imad Vasim for six runs. Trying to go for the big shot over the leg side. Misses it. Off stump goes flying. The nightmare innings continues. Liam Plunkett, the new man in. Edges it, gets off the mark, one run. Takes England to 149 for eight now. Oh, that's gone, that's out, that's out. Nah, not gonna challenge it. Knew it, heard the edge, Tom Curran goes, caught Ehmerd, bold Vaseem. One more wicket left for England. Adil Rashid is the new man in 149 for nine. No, 151 for nine, nowhere near where we should have been. This is very easily chaseable for Pakistan. Come on, run away for four, run away for four. Please, 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 please. Need a boundary. And we get one. Right, Harris Soil coming in for the last over. 155 for nine. One wicket in hand. We gotta go big. Yeah. Gonna come back for the second here. Dive, get home, two runs. Right, last two deliveries of the innings. England 159 for nine. Need this one to go. Need it to go all the way. I don't think it will. There's a man underneath it. That's the end of the innings. So England made 159 runs. Pakistan need 160 to win. And uh, we're going to need a miracle to defend this total now. Right, last ball of the first over coming up. Five runs off it so far. Gone for the Yorker. No run. That's going to be a dot ball. So decent start from England. Five off the over. No wickets. Right, Liam Plunkett coming in to bowl second over of the innings here. Decent start by England. Haven't gone for too many. Fucker Zaman plays that off the back foot. No runs. Oh, bowled him. Middle stump's gone flying. Emmanuel Huck goes. Bowled by Jordan. 14 runs. What a delivery. Went for the Yorker. And it was perfect. Middle stump goes flying out of the ground. Pakistan lose the first wicket. England have been bowling really tight. That is a lovely delivery. Right, bowling change for England. Adil Rashid coming in now. Oh, it's for is that what is that? How can you play that shot? That is just oh, nonsense. Oh, he smashed that. He has smashed it over the infield. Four runs, not a great start. So Rashid's first three deliveries have gone for eight runs. Need to tighten this up somehow. Need to prevent these boundaries. Better, much better. Oh, that's in the air. Will the man get there? Oh, stop it, stop it. What a ridiculous fielding. What a ridiculous fielding. 12 runs off the over. Dear, oh dear. Bad decision to bring in Adil Rashid. And that's the end of the over. Pakistan move on to 48 for one. Right, last ball of the over coming up. We need to finish strong, Rashid. Come on. Oh, ball him. Get in. We needed that wicket. The partnership was looking set. Fakhar Zaman goes. Bold Adil Rashid. Big wicket for England. Big wicket there. We needed that breakthrough. We finally got it. Adil Rashid, who has been expensive, picks up the wicket of Fakhar Zaman. Right, Plunkett coming in for a new spell now. 
So run rate is creeping up to 9.2 it's gone up to now. Current run rate for Pakistan is 7.60. This match is finely poised. If we can just keep bowling tight, I think England will be able to sneak home. Won't be able to get 8 wickets I think in the next uh, remaining overs. So it's all going to be about tight bowling. That's the dot ball. So we'll take that. Right, last ball of the over coming up. Only 4 off it. As long as this doesn't go for a boundary, this will be a really good over for England. And it doesn't. So 5 off the over. Pakistan move on to 119 for 2. 4 overs to go. Right, come on Joe Root. They're going to go after you. Just don't give them a bad ball. Do not give them a bad ball. We've messed up with the... Uh, <laughs> clearly messed up with managing our bowlers because Adil Rashid is bowled out. Chris Jordan is bowled out. Uh, Tom Curran is also bowled out. Liam Plunkett has one over left. They should be targeting Root. They haven't targeted him yet. Four deliveries gone. Only four runs coming off it. 37 of 20 required. Another single. Don't mind the singles, guys. You can take all the singles you want. It's the boundaries that we're worried about. Right, last ball of Joe Root's over coming up. As long as he cannot go away for a boundary. Yep, that's fine. We'll take that. So good. Good over from Joe Root. Only six runs coming off it. More importantly, restricted the boundaries. 34 of 16 needed. Surely they're going to start launching at some stage. Oh, as I said that, that's in the air. Will the man come round? And that's gone for six, I believe. Oh my goodness, six. So I guess this is the moment. This is the moment where Pakistan are going to start launching for it. Oh, that's gone in the air as well. That's going to be another boundary. Last ball of the over coming up. Finish strong. Come on. Don't let this go for a boundary. Good delivery. End of the over, 136 for two. This is going to be risky, but we're going to stick with Joe Root here. I just think that it's going to be harder for them to hit the spinners than a pace bowler at this stage. So <laughs> this could end in a nightmare. Was going to go with Plunkett. Decided to hold him back for the last over. Right, Joe, come on. 23 of 11 needed. Oh, it's a paddle sweep. That's going to go for four. It's a good shot. 17 of eight deliveries. He's gone for it. Has that gone all the way? That's six runs and that could be the match. Oh, how costly is that six going to be? They just need 11 of six deliveries now. We were going okay until that last six. He's gone for it again this time. Please get round, get round. Oh, he stopped it and then stepped on the rope. Bowling Joe Root has backfired big time. Ten runs off his last two deliveries. It was going well. Seven off six deliveries. Right. Where do we bowl this? You have to say that it's Pakistan of favourites from here, right? That's in the air. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Drops short, they'll take a single. That's in the air, that's gone. That could be the match and it is. So let's have a look at the match summary. Mohammad Hafiz picking up the man of the match. Pakistan winning by 8 wickets. We knew it was going to be a tough task to win this game when we made only 159 runs. At one stage it looked like we had restricted Pakistan. They weren't going for more than 6-7 and over. But they had 8 wickets in hand and they started launching. Bowling Joe Root in the second last over was probably not the most uh, clever of strategies on my part. He went for a lot of runs. And then finally the Hafiz and Barbara Azam 100 partnership guides Pakistan home. And they win by 8 wickets. So I'm hoping tomorrow when these two actually play <laughs> in real life the result will be different. But uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Join me in the next episode when we will be kicking off the one day series between England and Pakistan. If you've enjoyed the episode guys do leave a like. If you're new around here subscribe all of that good stuff. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below. But until next time look after yourself and catch up soon.